Hey guys, Fred here, VE3FAL, Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors. <clears throat> it is Thursday uh, morning, 21st September. Uh, beautiful morning. We've got uh, plus 7 outside this morning. Uh, sun's rising nice. We've got some fog, mist rolling in though. But it is plus 7 degrees. Uh, heavy dew once again this morning as we can see. But I figured since they're calling for rain for the excuse me entire weekend that since it's nice outside right now that I bring the uh, MCHF QRP radio outside my chameleon uh, F-loop the small computer and what I'm gonna do is I am going to run uh, whisper probably on 20 meters for a couple hours and just see what kind of results we get using the whip and the MCHF so what we're going to do is we're going to get set up here and uh, we'll get back to you guys in just a little bit. Alright, so it's 1327 Zulu. I have the antenna set up, radio set up for MCHF. I'm on the 1 watt setting here as we transmit. We're going into our first sequence here. It says transmitting whisper on 20 meters on 14.0956. So let's see what we uh, can gather here in the uh, next little while. I'm going to try and upload my spots here if I can click. So there we are. Um, it says 5 watts down here, 37 dB, but on the radio I'm only set for the 1 watt setting. So we'll see what happens. So that's set up guys, 1327, 1328 Zulu, September 21st. The MCHF radio, the old Acer Aspire. All right. Big honking battery. See how long it lasts because I haven't charged it for a while. So we'll see what happens. Okay, get back to you guys in a little bit with some pictures, hopefully, and some screenshots of signals heard and people hearing me. Here. Uh, again, I mean, I'm hearing stations in Europe, I'm hearing uh, all kinds of stations in the US. I am right now pointing north-south uh, with my loop antenna. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a go here and see what's happening. Um, the radio uh, TCXO temperature is certainly sit there, sitting at 34.2 Celsius right now. So not too bad at all. So let's see uh, what else we can do here. All right, so it might help uh, if I have the uh, transmitter set to digital external uh, for my signal to get out. So I think that's what was happening. I was keying up the transmitter, uh, but I was not transmitting. So as a 1400 hours uh, Zulu, I am now transmitting. So we'll see what happens from here. Okay, so I am transmitting now. The radio is transmitting. I know it's hard to see the screen outside here. I'm on the one watt setting, and the sequence is indeed transmitting. So I went back to the one watt, like I say, so we'll see who actually hears me on the loop now that I'm actually transmitting. All right, so we're transmitting again. I just uh, changed my transmitting sequence to 40% of the time because uh, it looks like I was transmitting every two minutes. So I'm going to change that just a little bit. Um, I am hearing Europe. Uh, lots of Americans. So what I'm going to do once it's finished transmitting is I'm going to just tilt this antenna so that I'm favoring east and west. So I'm going to favor east and west and see if uh, Europe will pick me up once I swing the antenna around uh, just ever so slightly. It is 1420 Zulu right now so we'll swing it around and we'll see if uh, like I say if the stations can hear me we are still at 11.4 volts on the battery so we're still good for a little while I have a second one here um, like I said I haven't charged that one for a long long time so I'm really surprised that it it held a charge sitting in the house so once the sequence is done we're gonna switch it around and we are gonna favor east and west Alright, so it's 1444 Zulu. 
I'm transmitting now. I finally got it set up to every six minutes at 25% here. Uh, is what it looks like. So I'm hearing Europe. Europe's still not hearing me at the one watt setting. Uh, 40 degrees here according to the radio. So things are still cool. Uh, one watt setting out yet. So we're going to let this ride for a little bit longer and uh, see what happens here. So we'll see what uh, we can uh, do if we can't uh, be heard in Europe as well. All right, so pretty good run on 20 meters. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is it is um, 1530 Zulu. I am going to set this up for 15 meters. So I'm going to do the adjustment for 15 meters. Go to the 15 meter frequency and run that for a half hour and see how we do. So uh, I'm going to do that now. Adjust the antenna for 15, set up the radio for 15 meters, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I'm set up on 21.094 as of 1532 so i'm not sure when my sequence will start to transmit now i reset everything here uh, but we're going to give that a whirl i'm still favoring east and west with the antenna see if we can pick up some europe or if some europe can hear europe can hear us and one watt setting so let this run for a half hour okay guys it's just about a half hour since uh we set up on 15 meters. It's 1557. I see, um, I heard four stations in here so far. I'm not sure if anyone's hearing me. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it go in one more, another half hour. Battery's still at 11.2. So this little MCHF at one watt uh, sure can uh, last a long, long time. So it'd be nice if I can get a battery pack or something put into there. Uh, decent sized one for use out in the field so this is what we got I'm gonna go till uh, see I'm gonna go to 1630 and then we'll shut her down and see what happens thing for so zero zip and zilch 15 meters died um, there's nothing on it I'll have to look at the uh, solar indices to see where we're at uh, but I know the higher bands have not been good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to 30 meters I'm gonna set up on 30 meters now run it till for the next little while, see what happens on 30, and then uh, we'll go from there. So it is 1740 by 1745, I'll be on 30 meters transmitting with the Chameleon F-Loop and the MCHF QRP rig. All right, so at 1742, we're set up for uh, 30 meters, 10.138.7. So we're gonna let this guy go here. We are uh, east and west again, orientation on the antenna. So we'll see what happens. So uh, we'll check it from inside the house and see if anyone's hearing us or if we're hearing anybody as well. All right. All right, guys, it's 1819 Zulu. Uh, the radio here in the sun right now shows it's at 52 degrees centigrade. Everything's been out in the sun here all morning, all afternoon. Uh, I know you can't see anything because of the sun here, but we are being heard on... Uh, 30 meters, most of the contacts or the people that are hearing us, believe it or not, are in southern Ontario. We're up here in northern Ontario, northwestern Ontario, and most of the people that are hearing me are down towards the uh, southern Ontario area. So that tells me where the propagation is. Even though I've got the antenna north-south orientation, uh, the folks down in the southeast are definitely hearing me uh, with my one watt signal here on Whisper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap things up here. I think I'll let this go one more sequence and I'm going to wrap things up and bring things into the house and uh, see what uh, we can uh, do from here. See if there's any upgrades as well for the MCHF QRP radio. So thanks for watching guys. It's been a blast and I hope you enjoy the video. I know I enjoy the little rig here now that uh, you know I've been able to upgrade it and, and whatnot. It seems to be working quite well. So it's ran all day off that battery. I think it's uh, we're down about 10.6 uh, volts on transmit. So can't go wrong. It, pops up to uh, just about 11 when I'm done so all right guys thanks for watching uh, this is Fred of EE3FAL in Thunder Bay Ontario Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors and I'm hoping to get out tomorrow take the quad out to the tent tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning see if we can't uh, get ourselves a couple birds a couple grouse and uh, go from there so once again this is Fred of E3FAL Ontario Northwest Bushcrafter and Outdoors saying 7-3 guys get out and enjoy